Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is my Tamiami International Orchid Festival Hall. And how exciting was that show? If you haven't seen it, um, pause this one and go look at that because that show was fantastic. So that show is hosted every year um, at the beginning of the year, so around January 11th um, by Dr. and Mrs. Moltz and they have over 70 vendors and it is awesome. It is so much fun. Uh, it's actually the second time that I go to it. Um, I decided this year that I was gonna go, I was gonna uh, film everything so I can so I can share it with you guys, and that's exactly what I did. It's in two different videos. It's the first day, which is on a Friday, and it's the third day, which is my second day um, in attendance at the show, which is on a Sunday. And I like going those two days. Saturdays, I don't like to go so much because it's when it gets really, really, really crazy. But it's really good for the vendors and it's really good for everyone because they get so busy and it's so awesome. So I like going on Fridays because I like to go on Fridays to get orchids that I make a list that I want and I, and I you know, I probably won't find them on Sunday. Uh, so I like to get all those out of the way on Friday. And then I go on Sunday uh, just in case I forgot something or just to see what they have. And then usually they have, you know, they have great deals and that's why I like to go the last day also. So let me get started with this haul. And, um, but before I do, I wanna tell you guys that I had the most amazing time this weekend. Uh, the show was great. I was able to see Sheldon from Carmela. I was able to meet so many new people. I was able to, to meet Carlos from Sunset Valley Orchids. I was able to meet Caleb that has um, a YouTube channel, which right now he hasn't uploaded. And I told him that he needs to get back to it because he's so awesome. Um, he's in school and, it's, and it gets hectic, but Caleb, if you're watching this, you know, just once a month, twice a month, or once every two months or whatever, we love to see your videos. Um, so Caleb from um, PYC Orchids, you're gonna kill me. Um, so Caleb was there, um, so many awesome people. Carlos was there, and if you didn't, uh, haven't seen it, or if you, if you skipped through that part, um, I'll put some, you know, some footage of that, but it was, it was all so fantastic. So other than the vendors that were great, I must say that what really made the weekend so special was the subscribers that watch my YouTube channel and went up to me and told me how you know they watch my show, my, my channel, and they're subscribed and they love my channel. And wow, it was so crazy! I was not expecting that at all. So just to see that and experience that was so humbling. Was so it was so awesome. It was like. I can't even describe how happy that made me. And then I saw Blanca from, from Tampa that has a channel too, Blanca Costa, and she is so funny. And she was just as funny in person as she is when she makes her videos. So Blanca Costa has a channel. If you, haven't, if you haven't subscribed to her, she's hilarious. So go subscribe to her, she's awesome. So I saw all these amazing people and it was just, it was just awesome. That to me was the, the best part of the show, um, other than what I got. But I think that was even more special. So anyways, I want to share with you guys in this haul everything that I got and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to explain to you everywhere um, that I went. Now I decided to separate it by the vendors. So it might take a little bit long. So I'm sorry if this video is a little bit too long. Uh, you can fast forward. I won't get, I won't get mad. So let me get started. Uh, everything behind me is what's in bloom that I already own. So all the vandas back there and what's over here, my Sherry baby that I'm sure you guys have, have seen. I love it. It still smells delicious and it's still giving me awesome blooms um everything back there is is what i have except for for these but everything up here is what i got all right so let's get started i have my little book all right so i'm going to start let's see i'm going to start with carmela because i just love sheldon so so much and you guys know how much i love sheldon and it was so nice seeing him he's just such a nice guy um he's just special to me and uh he's the owner of carmela orchids and if you haven't seen my unboxings, go look at those because he's just fantastic. My unboxings get me in trouble sometimes. And if you guys didn't miss that little caption that I put, you know, sometimes I do unboxings and people call him that they want the same exact thing and he doesn't have it. So if you guys see those videos and you like them and you like what's in there, know that I do not know what I'm getting. It's always a surprise. So I just wanted to let you guys know that because they get me in trouble sometimes. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to start with this orchid right here. And... You know, I'm famous for breaking stuff when I do my, my hauls because I do like to show you guys everything and it's all around me, so sometimes I bump. So anyways, I'm gonna show you this one, which is, I'm very excited about this orchid right here. And I wish I could get to it. Here it is. All right, so. Ooh, 
this was a first purchase at the show on Friday. I got her on Friday, and this is from Carmela Orchids. Now, this is a Rinko Stylist, and I hope I'm saying that right. I've never had an, an orchid like this before. This is a Rinko Stylist Gigante Orange with a Rinko Stylist Gigante Pink. And I love this orchid. Here's your tag. I know you can't see it. I've already always, I always go like this. And I, you know, when I, when I edit these videos, I know you can't see. So this is her tag. I'm going to put her name down below like I always do. This is her tag. That's her name. And she smells fantastic. I'm going to try to find a picture of her when she's in full bloom. But here are all her buds. I love that she has so many flowers. And normally she comes on both sides. But I think she's awesome. This is a wrinkled stylist gigante orange with a wrinkled stylist gigante pink. And these are her buds. She's awesome. I got her with Carmela. I paid $35 on Friday for her. And when I went on Sunday to try to get another one, they were gone. So it's always important to go the first day if you really, really want to get something special. So I didn't know I was going to get her. I didn't even know that she was... I really didn't know much about this orchid, so, but I'm happy I did. She's beautiful, and Sunday, like I said, they were gone. So that's my Rico Stylist from Carmela. All these are going to be from Carmela, like I said. So that way we can keep it in order. <laughs> All right, so this is... And this one right here, I love. It's it's so pretty and it has a slight, slight fragrance. Um, so this is a Vols, Volstekira. Oh, I'm so bad with names. So I'm gonna put the name down below. It's a type of Insidium. It's a V-U-Y-L. I don't know how to say her name and I'm sorry. I should have practiced it, you know, before this haul. But it's a V-U-Y-L Vol. Sakira Melissa Brienne Dark. She's purple. She's beautiful. I love to get Insidiums from Carmela because they are just so healthy. Look at these suitables. They're beautiful. And then I have flowers. I have a spike. I paid $25 for her and I got her on Friday. And she does smell really good. She very, very subtle fragrance, but it's there and it's and it's delicious. It's really, really good. All right. Another one that I got with Carmela is this beautiful Cattleya. Now, this Cattleya, they, she hardly had any, and I loved it. I loved it because you now February is coming up, and this is actually like a Valentine's, a perfect Valentine's orchid. It's just, it's red, it's big. I'm going to show you the picture of what she looks like. This is a Paradise Rose My Valentine. I paid $25 for, for her. She was from Carmela Orchids. I'm going to put her pictures. This is like the perfect Valentine's orchid All right so that is my cat Leia. It's beautiful all right let's see what else i got with carmela i got oh a zygo yes and i love it okay so right here now this zygo i got on sunday i really wasn't looking for any more zygos i have already three in my collection but she was just so beautiful i mean i hope that you can see what she looks like she's just these purple colors, this lavender color with this white, and then the lip is beautiful. It's like a, it's like a purple and white lip. It's just amazing. I have a, a, a flower spike. I have that one in bloom, and this is a Psygonesia Sinosher Bluebirds. So it's, it's called the Bluebird. It's beautiful. No fragrance. I asked, and there was no fragrance on her. So I got her with Carmela Orchids. This I got on Sunday. So the sticker for this one says, I believe it says 30 or 35, and I probably paid maybe like $20 for her. So that was a really good deal. That was on Sunday with Carmela. All right. And then I, my last purchase with them was my, my, my Dendrobium Nobles that you see all around. And these are my Dendrobium Nobles. I'm just gonna take this one out because they're super, super heavy. And this is the Dendrobium Sweet Pinky Love. She's so pretty. I love Dendrobium Nobles, and oh my goodness, they smell so good. Mm. Super good. I love it. I love Dendrobium Nobles. I just think that they're so pretty, so delicate, so beautiful. I love these colors. I do have um, probably about 10 Dendrobium Nobles in my collection, all different colors that I've got at different shows, and I have so many because I like to put them in community pots. Um, I like to keep them in the original pots until they get really, really big and they outgrow them. Uh, but I'm going to share those with you. I'm going to share when I do put them in a community pot. I'm going to share what it looks like. It just is like a beautiful, 
beautiful arrangement and I love it. So I got three and these I got on Sunday. I got a great deal on these. I think I paid about 15 or maybe even 10 for each on Sunday late. It was like 545. So you can imagine um, they were packing up ready to go and I saw them and I fell in love and I said, Sheldon, they look so pretty. Give me a break. I mean, I don't get too stalkerish because, you know, I, I, I get it. You know, I, I really don't. I get it. You know, it's this is what they work for. So I, I, you know, I do see many people harassing these vendors. I'm not one of those people. You know, I just say, oh, I'm going to take three. How many do you think? What do you think? What, what can you do? Whatever. You know, so I was able to get a really good price for these. I'm telling you, I probably paid like one lump sum, probably maybe like 60 or 50 for all of these for everything I got on Sunday from Carmela. So that was a really good deal. But then again, if you're looking for something special, do not wait until Sunday to go because by that time, they not, might not have what you want. I mean, I was not planning on getting any nobles. So I found them. I did. They were still in good condition. I mean, some of them were a little bit, I'm sure all the beautiful, beautiful, be huge ones um, they run out of. But I'm happy with my purchase. I got them on Sunday. I got a great deal. So I'm happy with that. All right, um, so that's what I got with Carmela Orchids. I'm very excited that I got beautiful things on Sunday with them. All right, next I am going to go over and show you what I got at Norman's Orchids because I have it right here. So Norman's Orchids is a nursery uh, in California. I've never bought anything from Norman's. I saw them there, and I had heard of Norman's before um, uh, on one of, probably on YouTube, so they're really big in California, which I'm happy that they came all the way over here and I had never uh, been to their booth before. Uh, but they had really cute stuff. I got this little mini Cattleya with them. And what caught my attention is that the petals are like stardust. Like if you look at them, it's like they're glittery. And I think that's so pretty. She's not very fragrant. At least I can't detect any fragrance on her. But she's very cute. I'm gonna probably keep this one inside. And this is from Norman's, Norman's Orchids. And I paid 25 for her. I got her on Friday. Uh, so this is um, Little Sweetheart, RLC Little Sweetheart. I'll put her name below. But I think she's really, really cute. And what, like I said, what, it, what it really got me was that, you know, all this little glitter inside. And Norman said that that's just, you know, the, the flowers will last longer. And I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was cute. I don't have anything this small in um, my Cattleyas. All right. So that was from Norman's Orchids. Now let's go to Big Leaf Orchids. So first time I ever purchased anything from Big Leaf Orchids. Um, I actually went to them and I saw Peter because of Michael. Um, Michael, I know you're watching. And thank you, thank you so much for rec your recommendation. So Big Leaf Orchids, uh, they're, from they're from Texas. And Peter is, um, I believe, the owner of Big Leaf Orchids. And somebody went up to him and asked him about his leaves and how he could keep them so shiny and so beautiful. And he uses reverse osmosis and he's very careful, you know, getting anything on the leaves. So your leaves are awesome, Peter. I think that they're just so beautiful, so shiny. I would love for my leaves to look like this, but you know, I have all water and they get spotty, they get ugly, but you have beautiful leaves on yours. All right, so with Big Leaf Orchids, I got a Fowl Jigabella. And thank you, Michael, uh, for, uh, you know, sending me their way. Um, I'm glad that I got this fowl. Uh, these I'm going to keep indoors. I'm going to keep them on an, on an east window indoors, and I hope to keep their leaves just like I got them. Beautiful, shiny, awesome. I got the same fowl jig I'm going to put a picture with a spike. So I got two of those. Um, and then I also got this one here. I'm so far from it. Okay. I got this one also from Big Leaf Orchids, and this is a fowl, uh, Xylo Forever, and look at this beautiful spike. Now, I got these on Friday. I paid 25 for each, except for the Gigabell. The Gigabell I got on Sunday because I really wasn't going to go back um, for that, and I liked it so much when I got home that I said, you know, I have to get it. So, And I also got this one. So I actually wanted to get a Bellina. Uh, this is a Bellina hybrid. This is a Bellina, um, the Fowl Bellina with a Mituo Princess. So this is not the actual Bellina, but this is a hybrid from her and she's beautiful. She's very fragrant. I can't detect any fragrance on her yet, but 
this is um was dying to get a bellina this is what i found when i get back when i got came back on sunday i didn't have any more bellinas and i was going to go get them and then i got the gigabell so there i say it again fridays friday sunday big difference so i'm very happy with this portrait thank you peter it was so nice meeting you it was um a pleasure meeting you and i really am looking forward to these blooming for me um normally he says they bloom in the fall some hybrids bloom can bloom you know sometimes during the year so i'm excited about that all right so that's what i got with big leaf orchids um all right my next purchase i got and i don't remember their name uh, they really didn't have any names outside so i really don't remember so what i got were these dendrobiums and these are the, the dendrobium antelopes and i am planning to put these on my palms so i'm gonna put a picture of them these are the dendrobium antelopes i got these for 20 dollars each on friday and don't know what's going on. I mean, I know that um, dendrobiums are supposed to lose their leaves, but these are like really yellowish and brownish. I'm not sure if this is healthy. Um, so, Roly, if you're watching, not sure what's going on. I even have them up here. It, it, they were green. They were perfect when I brought them home on Friday. Today I woke up and all their leaves are yellow. So maybe that's um, their process. That's what they're going through. I hope that they're not like dying on me or sick, but look, you see the leaves, how they are? So these are the dendrobium, these are the dendrobium antelopes. These are gonna go on my palms and they're very, very pretty. I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna attach um, a little bit, a picture of them so you can see what they look like. So I'm excited um, for that. Also, I just hope that what's going on with the leaves is normal. All right, all right, so, I am saving the best for last. Why? Because I am so intrigued with these new orchids that I got. Um, and again, I have to thank Michael for it. And yes, if you saw my videos, you will know how excited I am about this right here. So, <laughs> you guys, I don't know if this is ignorance on my part or what it is, but you know I'm a collector, I am not an expert, I learn every day something new about orchids and I know every day something new about how to take care of orchids and about different orchids I've never heard about. So this is something that has me so intrigued. So this here is, is a catacetum and if I tell you, if I wasn't, if I didn't get the recommendation from Michael and I didn't go to, to meet Carlos at Sun Valley Orchids. Am I saying that right? At Sun Valley Orchids. I would have never purchased this because if I'm walking by and I see this, I'll never buy it. You know, if, <laughs> and I know I'm so ignorant. I'm sorry. Um, I would just never think of buying something like this. And this to me, you guys, is probably my favorite purchase of the entire show. This is a catacetum. Am I saying that right? There's a catacetum. I'm gonna put a picture of it because I am in love. So this is what it looks like. It is beautiful. It is beautiful when it blooms. It looks like a little dried up stem when you're just looking at it like this, but this is how it looks like. It's in dormancy, you guys. This is a catacetum, and this is the first time that you, that you're, that you tune into my videos, or this is the first time you're a super beginner like I was back in, I'm still a beginner, but back when I first started my videos and I would see this and I'll be like, oh my goodness, why does she get something like that? But you guys, this is the most beautiful orchids that I've ever seen. They're fragrant. Um, this is a catacetum and they're in dormancy. That's why they look like this. So in spring, they start, you know, uh, throwing out new growths and, and then you start getting these beautiful flowers. I'm not sure if it's in spring or it's in winter. I got so much information and I have to do so much research still for them. But you guys, this is a catacetum, and this is what it looks like when it's in the dormancy stage. I can't wait until it blooms for me. I got three, and I'm just gonna tell you their names really quick so I can put a picture of you so you can see how beautiful they are. And Carlos from Sunset Valley Orchids, it was so nice meeting you, and I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna be bothering you, and I left you a message today on one of your videos, um, because once I can water these, so you don't water these until springtime. So once I water them, I need to know like exactly how much water I put, and I don't want to do anything wrong with them because I want to be able to bring these to you next year or, or in the fall with beautiful flowers so you can see how awesome these are. I am so excited. All right, so 
sorry about the rambling, the rambling. Uh, this is a Cadiceum Var Sex Visai. So the W's are V's because it's like a German name. So it's, this is a name because I'm terrible with names. So this is a Var Sex Whiskey Eye. Var so Whiskey Eye Jumbo Super crossed with a Var Sexy OMG. So this is a tag. I'm going to put the name. I butchered it. I'm sorry, you know, but at least I'm putting the name down in the picture so you can make sense of what I'm saying because I am horrible with names. So that's one. I have another one here which is a Cadiceum Orchid Glade Davy. Oh, this is not that bad. So a Cadiceum Orchid Glade Davy Ranches with a Cadiceum Tigrinium. And I'm gonna put that picture and her name. And look, it looks like a little dried up. My daughter said it looked like a dried up tulip, but it's like a little dried up onion. Hmm, but it's gonna be so beautiful. I can't wait. And this is another Cadiceum here. This is another Varvexii. Um, SVO cross with a Cadiceum Dark Swan Bold Spots. And this is really long. You guys, I'm so excited about this. This is my, probably the, my favorite out of everything that I got. Not to, you know, I love them all, but I am just so excited about this. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm so excited, so excited about Um If you have any suggestions or what I should do, um, leave me in the comments below. And you see, I, thank goodness you have no spikes or anything because I dropped you. All right, and then um, Carlos gave me a little gift. All these were purchased on Sunday, and I got the catacetums for $20 a piece. Uh, it was Sunday, it was late, he was the last booth that I went to. Um, so thank you, Carlos, and thank you for my little gift. He gave me this one. And this is a cool one. This is a Catalina has spots. It is an Evelyn packet, hot spots with a hot, with a sunspots SVO vest. So I'll just put a picture of this Catalina. Um, so you can take a look at her and I think this is it. This is everything um, This is everything that I got, you know, if you didn't see those um, shows go and check them out It was actually really really cool. I got Some free tickets for the next show which is in two weeks, which is in Fort Lauderdale um, I'm gonna uh, put the information Hopefully at the end of this video. I'll put the information of that show if you want to check that one out That's January 25th. Um, I will be going not sure what day, but I will be attending that show. I heard it was very beautiful. They do make beautiful displays. And I'm looking forward to that. And as the shows come up, I will share them with you because, you know, it's something nice for everybody to experience. They're awesome. They're amazing. They have great orchids. And I don't know. I love them. It was, it was so nice. It was such a nice weekend. And very nice weekend. So like I told you guys, you know, I am filming this on my birthday and I've gotten so many messages. So everybody that has messaged me, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate your birthday wishes. I'm very happy. Um, it's my birthday and I decided to bring this haul to you today because I did not go to work today. I took it off and I get to spend my entire day with my orchids. I worked on the yard. I have my haul now and then later tonight I'll be with my family celebrating. But for now, I am doing what I love to do, which is um, be out here with them. And that's it, guys. It was a great show. Um, I hope you like this haul of my new additions. Um, my Vandas in Bloom are beautiful, if you can see them back there. I'm very proud of those. My Sherry Babies. What else do I have up here that I didn't mention? Oh my goodness, look at these. These are from Carmela, and look at these blooms, how beautiful. I did them in my, in my update. And my beautiful and jovial that's rebloomed for me. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to subscribe, subscribe. It's free. It's fun. Um, I like to make them fun. I like to make my videos fun, at least. And, and that's it, guys. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you came up to me at the shows, I loved meeting you. You guys are awesome. And that's it. This is today's video. I will see you next um video i'll be going to that show if something comes up in between i'll make a video and i'll share that with you guys and like i said thank you for watching thank you for spending your time with me this video is going to go up in spanish so i have to redo this in spanish and put it up on that channel if you haven't subscribed to that channel and you prefer spanish videos or que en espanol i will include a picture of that or que en espanol everything's in spanish on that channel so I'm going to do this all over again in Spanish. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for subscribing. I love you all. Thank you for all your birthday wishes. Have a wonderful week. Bye.